What's going on, my North County fam? I'm your girl, Kelly from Evolve, here to give you the rundown on what happened in St. Louis County government this week, and this is what you need to know. So, the topic of discussion during uh, yesterday's Committee of the Whole meeting was nothing other than trash. Yes, tra yes, y'all. Apparently, this is a huge deal. Um, Councilman Trachis. Uh, he introduced, he's introduced a tweak to uh, previously passed legislation um, regarding um, trash pickup uh, in unincorporated St. Louis County. So what would his change do, his proposed change do? So it will require that commercial waste or, you know, commercial trash, so trash picked up at businesses, uh, that that pickup would not happen before 6.30 in the morning, similar to the time when trash is picked up in residential areas. So why this change? So Trachis expressed, he said, look, y'all, er day, er day, people hitting my line, complaining about being woke up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because they live near a business or what have you, and they trash is being picked up. And he's like, I'm tired of getting these complaints. And, you know, he also was like, look, and I have beef with, you know, one uh, waste hall in particular, Waste Connections. I have beef with y'all because y'all literally are trash when it comes to picking up this trash. He told them, like, to their faces, or I mean, it's virtual meeting, but he told them to the face, to his, fa to their face, like, he said, quote, your credibility is zero with me. I got nothing for y'all. So he's like, look, we need to make this change because, you know, it's just, I'm just getting too many complaints about this issue. So people from Waste Connections were there because they, you know, they wanted to set the record straight and, you know, express themselves as far as how they felt about this, po this proposed uh, change in the legislation, uh, saying you know, quote, the risk of passing this bill, it outweighs the benefit. Um, they were, you know, they were speaking about how they serve over 47,000 households in unincorporated St. Louis County. Um, and this change in the bill, uh, it, it wouldn't be good because it would, uh, you know, additional costs would be incurred by businesses because of this change. And also pushing the time back, it would jack up a whole lot of stuff including some safety concerns for the public. So the example that they gave, you know, they're talking about like picking up trash from a school. You know, pushing all those times back might prevent them from getting the trash from a school before the students arrive. And y'all just imagine that. You got kids getting dropped off, you know, kids hopping off the bus trying to go into the school, you know, all that chaotic activity going on in the morning. And to top it all off, you got this um, this trash truck Bruh. Um, picking up the trash at the same damn time. That's not good. So they're saying uh, passing uh, this change in the legislation, um, it really wouldn't be a good thing. So Mr. Franklin from the health department, he was also present um, and he provided some receipts regarding the number of complaints that the health department has received regarding issues related to uh, waste. So he said in 2021, the health department received 248 waste complaints regarding things like illegal dumping. And they received 165 waste district complaints. And of those 165, 141 were specifically concerning waste connections because again, waste connections is not the only um, waste hauler service in unincorporated St. Louis County. So like I said, of the 165 waste district complaints, 141 of those were specific to waste connections and their lack of service, like they missed picking up trash. Now of those 141 waste connections complaints, Three of those complaints were about the noise from the commercial waste pickup. So let me let me bring that back so y'all understand. I, I'ma make this plain. Two percent of the complaints received about waste connections were about the noise from their commercial pickups. Two percent, y'all. Two percent. 
So Councilwoman Webb, she asked, you know, can waste management, can they do some internal changes to work these issues out, like without having to issue a countywide ordinance to do so? And I think this came after there is a rep from another waste hauler that serves, uh, that serves as uh, unincorporated St. Louis County Republic, uh, after they expressed, you know, once they receive complaints from customers, they do some changes, do some reroutes, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and then things get better, right? So Councilwoman was like, well, yeah, can y'all just do what Republic is doing um, to make its changes instead of having to go through, again, this process where we have to pass this ordinance uh, that applies to all of St. Louis County. And so I believe it was after her question, uh, Councilman Fish asked, you know, if this bill is passed, you know, will it apply countywide? Um, and if it does, then it would impact haulers that serve municipalities as well. Um, and he also asked, like, you know, or will it just apply to unincorporated St. Louis County? And he also asked if, you know, the legislation could be specific to unincorporated St. Louis County. So the county counselor's office said, you know what, we're going to get back to you um, on that because they can't provide any type of like, you know, legal advice or whatever you wanna call it during a public meeting. So we'll see about that. So what's next? So Councilman Trakis has requested additional information. So one, he requested a memo, his words, from the county counselor's office about what would be considered a breach of contract when it comes to the county's dealings with waste haulers uh, servicing uh, residents. And he also requested information from St. Louis County on data related to complaints they received from all the haulers um, that, you know, work with and provide waste haul services for St. Louis County um, in the past year. Whew. So to be continued, and I am rounding it out, y'all, with the legislative corner. Uh, so there are a couple of bills that were passed during last night's uh, county council meeting that I wanted to lift up just so folks are aware. So the first piece of legislation, remember uh, the discussion from last week regarding the PACE and the Missouri Clean Energy District program? Well, yes, this week after making tweaks to the legislation that strengthens consumer prote protections, legislation was passed which authorizes St. Louis County joining the Missouri Clean Energy District and continuing their residential PACE program. And this bill, it was passed unanimously by everybody um but council members they said they will continue to keep a close eye and monitoring that program and also the other bill that was passed i want to lift up bill 19 um you know was enacted which appropriates one million dollars from the county's general revenue fund for the purpose of, fu of funding a comprehensive land use plan and y'all this is really huge for the department of planning shout out to them and also low key, high key for North County because you gotta have a plan before you start talking about development. That's all I have for y'all this week. Please be careful, stay safe out there and you'll see me soon, peace.